Hi guys, Andre from Convey of Randomness here, and today I'll be looking at this, the Fifine KO52 USB microphone. This is the Fifine KO52 USB microphone. I'd like to thank Fifine for providing this microphone for me to review. This is not a sponsored video, and I'll be giving my honest opinion on this microphone. Quite a simple unboxing process. What you get is a business card from Fifine. Thank you for being a valued customer. The instructions. And the microphone, which is packaged very well. Doesn't look like this is going to get damaged in transit. first thing you'll notice about the microphone is the long protruding neck. Above it, the receiver surrounded by the ever useful windshield preventing those stubborn explosives. Below it, the mic body housing the microphone's only two user changing buttons, a volume dial and a mute button. And finally, the long two meter USB cable. You'll find the KO52 at the budget end of the microphone market. You can find this on Amazon in the UK for about £37.99 and on the Fifine website if you live in the US you can get it for just under $31. KO52 is a cardioid microphone which has been looked at in other videos means that it will only pick up and receive sound in one direction which is in front of it and not in the rear or sides which makes this microphone ideal if you're looking for something on a gaming desk setup, speaking to friends, family or work colleagues on Zoom or other conferencing calls, particularly in these times where it seems like the video chat is becoming a familiar thing to do and with the useful 2 meter USB lead you won't have to be restricted or right on top of your connected PC or phone setup. So I've got this set up and as you can see it's a nice height for me to speak clearly into the mic. You've got about 12 inches from the base to the receiver and if you're still looking for a little bit more flexibility to get you to that more comfortable position there are two sections in the neck that are fully adjustable to tailor to your requirements the small form factor of the receiver end isn't too overpowering like other larger microphones might be so it's not going to be a distraction to anyone you're facing when you plug it in the green light shows that you're ready to speak and when you want to be muted you press the button and the red light will indicate this the good thing about most USB microphones is that they are plug and play devices and the KO52 is no different. You just plug it into your computer, the computer starts plotting away automatically and away you go. I'll be comparing the budget KO52 to one of the industry standard microphones and the one that I use in all of my videos, the Blue Yeti microphone. I'll only be using the Blue Yeti in cardioid mode as it will demonstrate a good comparison between the budget microphone and the higher end microphone. So what does the microphone quality sound like? Let's go and have a look. This is me using the Fifine KO52 USB microphone connected to a laptop with Audacity in an edited form. This is a cardioid microphone only. I'm currently about 10 centimeters away from the microphone. Am I clear? Is there any distortion? How do I sound? This is me using the Blue Yeti USB microphone connected to a laptop with Audacity in an edited form. As well as being a cardioid microphone, this has other patterns that it records in. I'm currently about 10 centimeters away from the microphone. How does it sound? Although it doesn't actually state it can, just like the Blue Yeti, I'm going to see what it sounds like if I plug the KO52 into an iPhone using the USB adapter. This is me using the Fifine KO52 USB microphone. It's connected via a USB adapter to the iPhone 11 and the app that I'm using is Filmic Pro and the sound that you can hear is unedited. How does that sound? This is me using a Blue Yeti USB microphone. I'm recording this on an iPhone 11 with the app Filmic Pro and all the sound that you can hear is unedited. How does it sound? So you've heard both the Fifine KO52 and the Blue Yeti USB microphones. What did you make of each of them? Just let me know in the comments below. With the Blue Yeti, you've got the richness and depth to the sound, while the Fifine seems a bit flat. But that doesn't mean it isn't of good quality, because it is. When I'm speaking, my words are clear and concise, and on its own, 
The quality of the KO52 would certainly make a good addition to your setup, particularly if you're looking for a budget microphone. As a sole cardioid microphone, it's going to need to perform at its method of receiving sound in one direction only, in front, and it does. Why splash the cash when there are good microphones at the budget level that perform commendably, whether you're using them for conferencing, gaming, or even socialising? Once again, I'd like to thank Fofine for letting me test and review the KO52. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to the channel, it'd be greatly appreciated, and press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. That's all for me today, I will see you on the next one. Bye! Why don't you go and watch one of these two videos here before the time runs out. Three, two, one.